Hey guys, what is up? My name is WhiskeyMcCombyG, and welcome to Games with Ballist, and welcome to my games with Ballist Games. So, in this, I just create little games, and uh, they're going to be interactive and stuff, and I'm going to let you guys play them. So, this one is called Visions, the Interactive Game Demo. So, in this game, it's pretty much based off the movie I'm going to make. I already made the trailer, you guys should see it. Um, the movie comes out the 20th of September. And, uh, the game comes out, the full game comes out the 5th of September. So that's coming soon. I want you guys to try out the demo to see if you really want me to release the full game. So this game is going to be fun. I'm going to show you guys it right now. So it's just going to be like, I'm going to talk about it, and I'm pretty much going to tell you. So there's really not going to be any, like, content, but well, let's go. Welcome to Vision, the interactive game demo. In this game, I will test your mind and will to see if you can complete the trials ahead of you. Using your stealth and intelligence, you can complete menacing puzzles and dungeons. Before we begin, you must learn how to play and learn the rules. Rules. 1. No cheating. 2. Don't tell the answers in the comments. 3. Don't cheat your pants. Not like you will. You can't really see anything. How to play. It's simple. When asked a question with multiple choices or something else, pause the video and think of an answer. If you get it wrong, you lose 5 points. If you get it right, you gain 10 points. Be sure to keep track of your wins and losses. Now, this game features alternate endings. Let's see what ending you get. There are 3 endings. The ending, the good ending, and the bad ending. You will get a specific ending depending on the choices you make. Once you beat the game, calculate how many points you got and tell them in the comments. The highest score might win a prize. This game is also... This game is also put into chapters. You can click a chapter by choosing one of the annotations. They will begin to appear somewhere on the video. Good luck. They'll be somewhere around here. Also, when you reach a checkpoint, the chapters will appear here. But for now, you can go ahead and select them all right here. Except there are only two of them in this game, including the, intro including the introduction and the first chapter. Which is only half of the first chapter. But <coughs> So, um, the introduction should be right here, and chapter 1 should be right here. And the rest of the chapters will be here soon. So go ahead and select one if you're resuming your game. Alright! Okay. Okay. Introduction. I don't bid well with seafood. You're Jack Wilson, a 14-year-old teenager who loves to party with his friends and sometimes just chill. Jack also has an annoying little brother named Drake. Drake is 11 years old, but acts very childish and annoying. Jack... J Jack thought his summer was going to be playing on his Xbox all day and night and partying till he drops. Partying till he drops. But he, w but he was wrong. He was sent to go visit his grandma at the docks for, for the whole summer. Sad, isn't it? His grandma makes him work all day and never gives him a break. It's a pain in the ass, just to tell you. What made things worse is that Drake had to um too. Sa summer can't get any worse, right? Grandma says, No buts! Go clean the ducks now! What do you say? Now, there's no right or wrong answer. You can pretty much say anything without losing or gaining any points. So, once I, so once I give you these choices, pause the video and think of one. Then play it, and then I'll tell you all three of the answers. So, what do you say? Choice number one. No way, I hate you! Choice number two. Fine. Choice number three. Okay! Now pause the video and think. Time's up. Choice number one. Oh, you gotta be like that? As you clean the docks, you have to do all of Drake's chores. Choice number two. <laughs> Choice number three. Good. Supper will be ready when you finish the docks. Okay. Um, now what do you do? Now there's a right and wrong answer. Choice number one. Stand around and do nothing. Choice number two. Go down to the docks and clean. Think of an answer. Time's up. The the wrong okay, the right answer was choice number two. The wrong answer was choice number one. Right answer. Thank you, dear. Wrong answer. That's it! No dinner for you. Wrong results. Grandma pushes you down to the docks, and she's become very impatient with you after what you did to her. Your hatred for her lies only in your thoughts and heart. Right results. You walk, you walk on down the docks, casually, wanting to help out your grandmother. 
She's happy that you are helping, and swears she will reward you with something special later tonight. Now you're on the docks. What will you do? There's a right and wrong answer. Choice number one, grab mop and bucket. Choice number two, walk back up the docks. Pause and think. Time's up. Choice, okay. Choice number one was right. Choice number two was wrong. Right answer. If you have equipped the mop, the mop and bucket. Wrong answer. Your grandma pushes you back down and watches you do it just to be sure. You grab the mop and bucket with a pa with a pout. You start to dip the mop in the bucket and begin to swab the wooden floor under your stinky leather boots. You keep on cleaning until there's no more boot bird poop and fish guts on the dock. You put the mop and bucket back down and you are tired. Then you hear grandma call you up for you chose the right answer. You hear her call her up for your award. You hear, call her, you, you hear her call you up for your award and supper. If you chose the wrong answer, you are tired. Then you hear grandma call you up for to go do chores. What will you do? No right and wrong answer. Choice number one, walk up the docks. Choice number two, stay put where you are. Time's up. Choice number one, you slowly walk up the docks, listening to the wood creak as you take each step. Suddenly, you get a sick feeling in your stomach. You have the feeling when you want to throw up and your head heats up, pounding against your skull. As you reach the top of the stairs, you begin to you begin having strange thoughts of someone killing and slaughtering innocent animals. Then your eyes flash, and you see some kind of vision. You see a jester. One side of his costume is red, and the other side is black. His strange hat covers his face as he looks down at the ground. Then, your vision scratches up in statics. Then you're back. Then you're back in the real world. But you still have that sick feeling. Then you hear someone breathing down your neck. And your strange chuckle. It sounds as deep as the demon you hear in your nightmares. You slowly turn around. And then it happens. Choice number two. You don't want to do that, so you walk up the stairs anyways. Chapter one. Chapter one. The demon inside me. Checkpoint reached. You can now rewind here at any time. So, I'm going to be right here. And then the checkpoints will be right over here. So here's the introduction. And then here's chapter one. They will appear as you begin to progress through the game. So, here we go. You wake up you wake up in a room you have never been inside. The walls are made of stone and you are chained to them with iron chains. In front of you are rusted metal bars that lock you inside. Behind the bars are more cells, just like yours inside a giant corridor. It seems like it seems the chains are a bit weak from being used too much by multiple people. You see a button in front of you. Luckily, your feet aren't chained to the walls. So you might be able to reach the button. What do you do? Right and wrong. Okay, so there's a right and wrong answer. Choice number one, press button. Choice number two, try and break out of the chains. Choice number one was the wrong answer. Choice number two was the right answer. Right answer. You shake your arms around, trying to see if you can snap the chain somehow. With more struggle, the chain snaps, and you are now on your feet. You take the chain off your other arm, and now you are free. You, you know you are free. You now look for an exit. Wrong answer. Press the button, resulting in the room closing in on you, crushing all of your bones. Game over. Now rewind to the checkpoint. By, uh, just clicking somewhere here. Because I'm just going to put checkpoints here, not chapters. Chapters will be at the beginning of the video. So choose a checkpoint. Okay. The iron bar. Okay. Uh. Okay. The iron bars are. The iron bars are too big for you to squeeze through them, so that's not much of an option. You look for an exit. What will you do? What will you do? No right or wrong answer. One. Press button. Two. Call for help. Three. 
Try to squeeze through bars. Four, smash walls. Okay. Choice two, three, and four were the wrong answers. Choice number one was the right one. Well, I guess, yeah, they were right and wrong answers, but you know. Okay. Choice two, nobody answers back except for your echo. Choice three, nope. Choice four, the, all that did was smash your finger. Choice one, you press the button, resulting in the roof slowly closing in on you. As it begins to fall, an iron bar snaps in half, and a piece of wall breaks, showing a little hole. You need to think fast. What, we, what will you do? Right and wrong answers. One, cry for help. Two, try to squeeze through a broken bar. Three, die. Four, go through the hole in the wall. Okay. Choice number one, two, and three were the wrong answers. Choice number one, I mean choice number four, was the right one. Wrongs. Choice one, nobody answers except for your lonely and desperate echo. Next thing you know, your screams echo through the hall as your bones begin to break in half. Game over. Rewind to a checkpoint. Choice two, you run towards the wallpaper disguised to look like something real, enabling your powers to turn into a pile of muck. Game over. Rewind. Choice three. Well, that just happened. Game over. Rewind. Right. Choice four. You jump in the hole, revealing your escape. Checkpoint reached. New checkpoint unlocked. You splash into a pool of water, just mildly colored red in some areas of it. You hit the bottom of the pool, and you swim back up, holding as much of your breath as you can. You then reach the surface of the bloody liquid. You look around for an exit. You see a door in front of you, but you also see something shining at the bottom of the vat of bloody water. What do you do? Right and wrong answers. 1. Swim back down. 2. Go through door. Choice number 1 was the wrong answer. Choice number 2 was the right answer. You climb out of the pool and you check yourself. Your clothes are completely soaked and your hair is as wet and your hair is wet as it sacks into your eyes. You depart the hair so you can actually see. You are afraid to open the door, but you are very curious and what lays on the, on the other side. You set your hand on the knob and begin to turn it, unlocking the unlocked door from its presence. Wrong. You begin to swim down until you hear something splash into the water. You turn around facing the surface of the little pond to find a man di diving and grabbing you. He holds you in a chokehold and begins to push you begins to push your arm his arm into your throat. You quickly begin to suffocate, squirming around in the man's arms, trying to break out. Then your head feels like it's about to explode and your lungs cripple into dust as your heart pumps ever so faster. Then everything is quiet. The little fish has been slain by the shark. Game over, go back to the checkpoint. Okay, about the right answer. You're, you set your hand on the knob, and you begin to turn it, unlocking the unlocked door from its presence. End of demo. Play the full game once it comes out to see what happens next. That's literally all I have, and this is a perfect time to end it. So, Visions, the interactive game, based on the epic movie on YouTube, created by Troy Chiddock, tested by you, made for the amigos who watch my videos, comment if you want more. Visions the Movie, coming soon, September 20th, 2013. Visions the Interactive Game, coming soon, September 5th, 2013. So that's all I got. I hope I scared you from that jump scare with the... Uh... <laughs> I hope I scared you with that because... I know I scared myself. Oh, my vads! So if you want more, be sure to tell me, and I will do a little game series on this. So I hope you enjoyed. So if you like my videos, because you tell me. So if you like my videos, come to me. Good day, everyone. Join us with me. Good. Be sure to tell me. Then come to the lunch. Be sure to tell my friends. Sign on. I shit my pants.